Communication is always vital when competing in tournaments. Winning a match requires perfect coordination. You cannot win by yourself. Raid Call. Communication for winners. In League of Legends, Victor is a champion who starts with the Hex Core, which grants ability power and can be upgraded. On today's episode of Law Math, we'll be taking a look at how cost effective the Hex Core can be when compared to other items. Let's take a look at the item now. The Hex Core is an item that only Victor starts with and cannot be sold. The Hex Core will grant ability power equal to Victor's level times 3. At level 18, the item will grant 1,174.5 gold worth of ability power. Gold wise, this is incredibly cost effective since Victor didn't spend any gold on the item. Item slot wise, this can hinder Victor as a needlessly large rock will grant more ability power than a hex core. However, the hex core can also be upgraded to have one of three sets of additional effects. The hex core can be upgraded to have the power augment for 1000 gold. It will grant 220 health and 6 health regeneration. It will also grant Victor 30% bonus movement speed when he uses his power transfer ability. Not taking the movement speed into account, one will be overspending by 203.2 gold on this augment. If we do take the movement speed into account, one is saving 1146.4 gold while the bonus from power transfer is active. The hex core can be upgraded to have the gravity augment for 1,000 gold. It will grant 200 mana, 10% cooldown reduction, and 5 mana regeneration. It will also increase the cast range on Victor's gravity field ability by 187.5 units. Not taking the cast range increase into account, one is saving 22 gold on this augment. In order for the gravity augment to be more cost effective than the power augment while its movement speed bonus is active, one must consider the cast range increase to have a value of 1,124.4 gold or more. The hex score can be upgraded to have the death augment for 1,000 gold. It will grant 45 ability power and make Victor's death ray ability deal 30% additional magic damage. Not taking the bonus magic damage into account, one will be overspending by 21.25 gold on this augment. In order for the death augment to be more cost effective than the gravity augment, the bonus magic damage must have a value of 43.25 gold or more. Since this is less than the cost of 2 ability power, it is safe to say that the death augment is more cost effective than the gravity augment. Not taking the gravity augment's cast range increase into account. In order for the death augment to be more cost effective than the power augment while its bonus movement speed is active, the bonus magic damage must have a value of 1167.65 gold or more. This gold is equal to the value of 53.69 ability power, which would grant Victor 102.01 magic damage across his abilities, assuming his ultimate ability only grants the initial damage. For the sake of this example, we can assume one point of magic damage granted is of equal value to 11.45 gold, due to how much magic damage ability power will grant Victor for its gold cost. Depending on the level of death ray, Victor will need to have between 385.76 and 128.62 ability power for the death augment to become more cost effective than the power augment with its movement speed boost active. Overall, from a gold perspective, the power augment will be the most cost effective when its movement speed boost is active, unless one has a decent amount of ability power with the death augment, or values the gravity augment's cast range increase highly. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Law Math episode. You can also like Law Math on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and join the community on Reddit. Thanks for watching this episode of Law Math.